we care about Keysville uh, and uh, we're interested in hearing what, what the public has to say about the area. Um, I sat down with my uh, outdoor recreation planner and talked about this meeting and we talked about the fact that this is a big commitment for BLM. Um, once we open the door, there's no going back. We, uh, and the reason for that is we're not looking at the agency doing a, a plan um, and then telling you about it. We want to do a plan together. It, it is an agency plan, but it's not going to work uh, unless we have community involvement. And when I talked with my recreation planner about this, we said, yeah, the time is not right. We can't commit that, that amount of time. And so we waited, and we waited. The conversation I had with my planner was in 1995. Um, and, and you can see, you know, a few years have passed. Some things I'd like to think have gotten better, some have not. Um, but we can't wait any longer. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of changes in Keysville. There's a lot more interest in the area. And so tonight we're here, we're opening that door, we're making that commitment, and there's no going back from this point. Our goal is really not to get your in input into a plan developed by BLM. It is to, to develop a plan together. It is, as I said, ultimately BLM's plan, but it's not going to succeed unless we have community involvement. There has been expression in the, or interest in, in the community in, in helping out. We've heard from a, a couple different groups recently um, interested in volunteering and, and making a difference, people that don't like seeing what they see on the ground. And so we feel like the community support is there. The plan that we're looking at, at developing and, and discussing really focuses on recreation and cultural values. Uh, there are a number of activities in Keysville. It's an area of multiple use. will continue to be managed for multiple <coughs> use. Um, and so things like grazing, mining will be affected by what we do, and, and those activities affect recreation use and cultural resources. But the focus of, of our planning effort and our, our discussions are really going to be on the recreation and, and cultural values. Tonight, um, I'm going to talk for a little while, see how many of you I can put to sleep. And then after that, uh, we're going to have a session or you know, two opportunities to solicit ideas from people. Um, there are kind of three, three stages, and we're going to go try and, and nail down two of them tonight. Um, the two we'll hit tonight are talking about some of the opportunities and uses in Keysville. Um, along with the agenda, there was another sheet that was passed out listing a bunch of recreation uses that we know about. We'd like to pick your brains and add to those. Also identify other values within the area. Um, then we will uh, pick your brains and ask about challenges, as we euphemistically like to call them kind of the issues or problems that we're looking at in Keysville. And that, those are the things that we need to, to address. And the third step that we really won't have time for tonight and really is going to probably need a, a series of meetings to, to talk about are the solutions to those problems. And, and so that, you know, that's where we'll get into the nitty gritty of, of what we want to do in Keysville. We don't want to end there. Once we have a plan done, then the important work begins, and that's implementing the plan. The plan should give us direction, and you know, then through partnerships, hopefully we'll be able to find a way to implement those actions and, and make some changes. So that's kind of the, um, the gist for tonight. And uh, so I'll kind of move on into uh, the part where I put you to sleep. So just